Happy Star Wars Friday, everybody. So we got to freak out about Episode 8, Force Friday stuff happening this year. So I'm going to explain what's going on and what it says about the movie. If you guys didn't know, I'm doing Star Wars Fridays where I do a Star Wars bonus video every Friday, no matter what's going on during the week. So if you're brand new to the channel, be sure to subscribe to get everything and leave all your requests in the comments below. But the big thing this Friday everyone's freaking out about is they revealed Force Friday 2 packaging that actually gives us a look at Rey's character and it confirms a couple big things about the movie. There are some other things that dropped that also back that up that I'll explain. But really this is all about Rey's character. So I'll say new round of the Star Wars giveaway starts now. It's for a copy of the Rogue One DVD. All you have to do to enter is be a subscriber and leave a Star Wars comment on this video. The 10 big takeaways from this are number 10. If you don't remember what Star Wars Force Friday is, it was a giant worldwide toy unboxing event where they revealed all the new toy lines based on the new movies. We'd already gotten a look at some of the packaging, so you had a pretty good idea what some of the Black series looked like, but it was basically this. Check it out, you guys. Number nine, the really cool thing is I'll be doing some stuff for that later this year too. Of course, I'll be giving away a lot of Star Wars toys when the movie gets ready to come out. It'll be a lot of fun. But Star Wars Force Friday 2 is happening this September, so you don't have to wait that long. The movie's not coming out till December. You do not have to wait till December to get all those new toys. Surprisingly, that just seems like a good business decision from Star Wars. Please, if you want to tell us to shut up and take our money, we will allow you to do that. Number eight, the other thing that's going to be coming back around is Ryan Johnson, the director, also teased cool stuff for Star Wars Celebration that's happening April 13th through the 16th. I know I do Star Wars Friday, so I do Star Wars videos every week anyway, but that's going to be a Comic-Con style weekend where there's just a bunch of Star Wars stuff happening all within a really small span of time. It is going to be crazy. There's some larger stuff rumblings behind the scenes that I'll explain later on this list. So number seven, the big stuff. Ray has a very Qui-Gon Jinn looking haircut in this. If you remember Anakin's Padawan haircut, he had the shaved sides, the braid, Male Padawans have different hairstyles than female Padawans. Female Padawans look like this. It confirms a whole bunch of stuff in connection with number six, the updated foreign titles. There were new Latin American and Italian posters posted to the official Facebook pages of Star Wars that confirmed plural Jedi. So the last of the Jedi just means that there is no one single Jedi left. So that's one theory that you can cross off your list. It doesn't confirm who the last Jedi are. It just confirms that there's more than one. So it confirms Luke, Rey, but there's also the theory that Kylo Ren and even Snoke could be the last Jedi because we know so little about his backstory. We know a lot about him politically. I did a video about that because he has history with Leia. So I had a link at the end of this. But the reason why that's so huge is just because even though there's a seismic shift in the teachings of the Jedi in these new films, the Jedi term will still apply. It pretty much confirms that. Like, they'll always be Jedi in Star Wars, even though they won't look anything like the Jedi that you've seen before. Number five, the other people on that poster. Finn and Poe don't really look any different than they did in Force Awakens, but characters go through a number of different costume changes during the movie. Finn went from his Stormtrooper armor to being stripped down to going to Poe's resistance jacket. There's a lot of rumors about what Finn is doing in the movie, so I'll briefly address that, but it's a little bit of speculation. It just implies that he's going to be thrown back into the path of the First Order, which gives us an idea how we might run into the Phasma character because she is so important for Finn's character. If she's going to show up again during Episode 8, and they did confirm that she has a much bigger part than she did in Episode 7, the most rewarding way to do that would be to circle back around to the way she left things with Finn, throw him back into her path so that she can get a little bit of revenge, but Finn can also carry out whatever mission he's on because his spine is healed, he's standing up right here, and he wants nothing more than to help the Resistance now. He is fully committed to the cause. There is some speculation that goes a little bit beyond that. Maybe I'll do that in a separate video. If you want to talk about that, there have been a lot of rumors about what actually Finn is doing during the movie. You can do that in the comments below, but just remember that it's speculation at this point. Number four, The Last Jedi. So there were a lot of theories, like I said, before this title dropped about who that was. 
we can't discount Kylo Ren because Snoke looks like he's trying to create a super Jedi. They're talking about a new order, so it goes way beyond what's happening with the Knights of Ren. The Knights of Ren is not the new order that Snoke is making. They're just an elite group of dark side force users put together by Snoke to carry out special missions separate from the rest of the First Order. They're not the great force wielders that he's hoping to create in Kylo Ren. He actually had an apprentice before he met Kylo Ren. So while most of our focus is on Rey becoming a Jedi, she has the Padawan haircut, she has the lightsaber, she's training with Luke, you cannot forget about Kylo Ren being the last of the Jedi. Number three, on the flip side of this, how are the Jedi changing? So I did a video about the Bendu, the Dai Bendu, sort of the original beliefs of the Jedi and how they're being incorporated into these new films. So while the term Jedi will still imply, the way they become Jedi, the way they practice the Force, the way they wield it will be very different. So if you don't watch Star Wars Rebels and you didn't see the Bendu video that I did, it's really just a different approach to the Force that does not discount the use of the dark side. It's sort of something in the middle. Gray Jedi like Ahsoka is kind of a term for that, but technically she's not Bendu. And just to clarify, when I say Bendu, a lot of people were confused about this. The Bendu is not the name of his race. It's a very Yoda type twist and that we don't know the true name of Yoda's species. George Lucas was famous for never truly revealing a lot of Yoda's origins. They were just meant to be very mysterious. So in that way, the Bendu is very mysterious. Bendu is the name of his order, so it's like calling someone a Jedi. You go to see the Jedi, you go to see the Bendu. But when people think about Jedi training in the old films, you see Master Yoda lecturing in the Jedi Temple, people learning in classes. It's a very rigid way to learn and wield the Force. These are the things you're allowed to do. You must be passionless. No attachments, no spouses, no children. The wrinkle in that during the prequels was Qui-Gon Jinn and his use of the living Force. So number two, remember that the prequels are still canon. They haven't changed the way that the living force and the cosmic force work. Midichlorians are technically still canon, even though they've erased all mention of them from the new Star Wars films. Do not expect to hear about midichlorians, even though technically they still exist. But the living force, if you didn't know, is the energy field generated by all living things. It's what enables Qui-Gon, Yoda, Obi-Wan, Anakin to become force ghosts and continue speaking with the living. The cosmic force is the connective tissue that connects everything at a cosmic level across the galaxy. It's not really important, but the midichlorians are basically like the Wi-Fi receptors in all living things that allow the living force to connect with the cosmic force. So all this stuff is still canon, but they're going to do it in a really simple, easy to follow way in the new films. The Jedi never spent a lot of time in the old films studying the living force, and they avoided practices favored by dark side force users. That's part of what's changing in the new films. Forget about the things they told you not to do, the things they told you not to study. We're going to be learning a new way, a new path. So it just confirms that there will always be Jedi in Star Wars, even though what the Jedi look like, the way they practice and wield the Force will be very different. Imagine them trying to get rid of the word Jedi. It would be a crazy branding nightmare. It would be like trying to get rid of the word lightsaber. All the merchandising would fall down the toilet. That's what made George Lucas a billionaire. Not the films, the merchandise made him all that money. In number one, the really important thing that's coming up pretty soon, they've confirmed a Star Wars Episode 8 panel at Star Wars Celebration April 13th through the 16th. The panel is going to be happening on Friday. They're probably going to bring a trailer like they did to the Episode 7 panel at Celebration and a behind the scenes reel. They brought way more than the Episode 7 trailer when they came to Celebration. There was a whole bunch of extra footage too. So it will be a really big deal, which is part of the reason why you haven't seen an Episode 8 trailer yet because they're just waiting for that. Of course, I'm gonna be doing a whole bunch of videos for that, but if you wanna suggest bonus Star Wars videos for me to do each week before then, just write them below in the comments. It seems like most of you have liked Star Wars Fridays so far, so I'm making that a permanent thing. Star Wars videos every Friday, no matter what's happening, till the end of time. I'm going to be doing the same thing for other stuff like Spider-Man, The Flash. Sunday's usually supposed to be a Game of Thrones day for me, but you get the idea. So I'll make a video update when I decide what days are going to be what videos. But congratulations to last week's Star Wars giveaway winner, Reagan Hughes. Please private message me on the back end of my channel so I can get your contact details. 
What's going to happen next is, is there is a mystery name or Marvel project that is filming in Hawaii. So I'm going to do a video all about that because it raises so many questions. So thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in that next video. While you wait for that, you can click here to learn all about Snoke's backstory. And you can click here for the Black Panther Infinity War teaser video.